Warning, warning, Mr. Robinson. The following video, no, not very educational. In fact, uh, the people that are in it actually were told not to say anything insightful. So their lips, they were sealed, uh, you know, with, with a zipper. Uh, apparently because of that, we're apologizing, but really, uh, maybe you just might want to act proactively. So, it's the, uh, 29th of March now, so that's like a Saturday, and it's, uh, I have no clue what time in the morning, like 7 o'clock in the morning. I really shouldn't be up this early, but we have to pay for parking. So, uh, that's fun. La, 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 la. La. No, it's not fun at all. Um, it's incredibly expensive, and it's not really the best way to start out your day. But that's okay. Uh, I made some Kool-Aid and had a donut for breakfast. So, uh, I'm just hoping that I have my wallet. Okay, I got my wallet with me so I can, I can get this uh, receipt. So, later. Later we can actually go to the convention and do some stuff. Last night was a joke. Well, I mean, that was our fault, but uh, we were so busy trying to uh, get in late and try and figure out how to get passes. And after getting passes, try and figure out if there was anything to do. I uh, met up with some old friends that were there that we didn't expect to be there. And, um, I had some fun, but needed to get into the apartment to drop our shit off. So now that all of that's been taken care of, I'm sure that we'll be able to relax. But, um, right now I have to pay for this ticket, so. Uh, later, later, convention, uh, right now, uh, more breakfast and park it ticket by. Oh, it's KuraCon 2008. Oh my god. I think I'm better than all the nerds, but. Yet I'm here with them. Shit. Okay, I guess. Alright. So here's what here's what anime is all about. Okay, okay. It's all about who can spend the most soulless time in front of anime cartoons pretending their real friends okay. aren't behind the screen. Okay. Is that, and is my that real, real friends. But but what, what happens if okay. real? But but what happens if Goku's it's just real? If right? it's their hobby, right? You can't tell me he's not. I had a dream he saved me. You know what Goku told me? He said I was gonna be Super Saiyan 5 and I was gonna be the first one to transcend to the fifth level of Super Saiyanism instead of getting red monkey hair, I was gonna get gold monkey hair. And you can't take that away from me. Okay. I don't care how much you talk about Naruto and Sasuke. Yeah. And Macross uh -huh. and Gundam Wing uh -huh. and every other anime. Uh-huh. Goku owns. Okay. And they're all weak sauce and yeah. it's rape sauce. Definitely. Right? <laughs> That's just weak. Josh and Arla are currently gone. Um, we come into the camera. So, um, welcome to Jessica and Brittany's Whirlwind Adventure. Currently, we are on the escalator, the longest one in the world. Check it, check it out. Check it out. It is so, it is so long, so so long, so so long. Okay, okay. Well, here we go. So we're walking around on some level of the Washington State Convention Center, and it's really crazy. Look at all these damn people. <laughs> like, there's so many people here. There's thousands, hundreds, millions, so many people right now. I don't even know what's happening. Like, and, it's a phenomenon. And majority of them are actually cosplaying as Naruto characters. Like a bunch. We, we count like 150. <laughs> and those that aren't Naruto are playing Death Note or Inuyasha, other great animes. Not generic at all. No, not at all. But Team Rocket, <laughs> Team Rocket is beautiful. The best cosplay anyone will ever see. Ever. Yes. disregard for decency. It's like every girl out there uses this as an excuse to show off their nice bodies. Um, there, there, are, there are some very cute costumes and like some of the cosplays are very nice. But I would wear them every day. <laughs> but a lot of them are actually pretty indecent and I can be appalled more often than I thought. Almost as much as the dirty cosplayers are the intense, intense gay
gamers. I mean, it's great that you're good at gaming, but when you're playing against people that are inexperienced, and then you proceed to kick their ass at said said game, like this, kid like right this here. kid <laughs> right here, and then and then gloat about it, it is one of the most infuriating things. Ah! Bright light, bright light, right? And it's just it's like so infuriating. Back to cosplaying. You know how I said that some cosplayers are very indecent? Well, here is an example of something that could be indecent, but was done tastefully. Yes, yes, tastefully. Look at how cute they are. They are adorable. And they're not flaunting themselves to the extreme that it's like, wow, what are they doing? I, uh, this is something everyone can appreciate. Thank you, thank you. Exhibitors Hall, and like I said before, there's a million people here. Not to mention, there's like a lot of merchandise. You can spend like more than a million dollars here. Look at all this stuff. And that is just one row out of like 15, 15 rows of beauty. You can't even see all the row. It like goes all the way to the back of the hall. It's amazing. I mean, I'm about to blow like a couple hundred dollars as we speak. We love merchandise. This is also another time for us to complain. This is a, you complain a lot. A, I know I do. A ploy, I guess, to to I don't know Japanese America. I just it just I don't I don't even know. <laughs> it is a word. And and this is this is great because you you know a sense of culture or something. I don't know. But um. There are also a lot of creepy creepers here. For example, this kid. Yes, say hello. Say hello. Men ogling at fictional half dressed characters. Mm. Welcome to America. Yeah. Another example of amazing cosplay. This, these, these characters, their costumes are great and they're, and they're pretty accurate. But, but if you can see in the bushes, there's Snake. So, yeah, I personally don't know how I feel about it, but whatever, to each his own. But um, to get a better perspective on it, I'm going to ask other people. Oh, okay, so, hello, SakuraCon participant. How are you today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, how do you feel about Yaoi? To each his own, I really don't care either way. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of it. But I don't diss on other people for liking it. And do you think that people who do like Yaoi are creepy creepers? No. Alright. Most of them are girls who like gay boys. Okay, what about Yuri? Most of them are guys, and oh. most guys just like lesbians. Alright. Well, there you have it. One Sakura Khan participant's view you on Yaoi. <laughs> oh, she shouldn't really have an opinion at all. Like, how did you do that? Are you a minor? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no.